My friends, Jacob is here on my way to the gym. We're going to be talking about the liver king and the uh, huge spiritual message that is connected to all of this madness. Oh, so I figured I'd bring you to the gym with me so you can see where I get all my work done. Come on, let's go. Look like Robin Hood today. Look at me. Hello everybody. I get my best work done at the uh, at the gym in the mornings. This is where I get a bunch of my, uh, we'll say my insight, my inspiration. Today there's a lot of talk in the news about the Liver King. The Liver King who I've, uh, I've covered. The Liver King who many people said, well, he's lying about steroid use. And of course, he's using the steroids. $12,000 a month on steroids, if you can believe that. Primals. I'm making this video to apologize. For social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure. He has a big, um, organization called Primal Living. There's a lot to a name. I spoke about this in other shows. Primal being, you know, not spiritual, but kind of like an animal. Turns out he was a big liar. He wasn't just eating bull testicles and liver to get ahead. He was doing, um, he was doing a little bit more. That's actually, uh, in reality, that's what the problem is today. Everybody is very focused on something that's not true, falsehood. They put their faith in falsehood. That's why liars and cheats, they make so much money. But there's a deeper spiritual meaning to the Liver King story. By the way, I'm 51 years old. I go to the gym all the time and I eat right. And uh, no, I do not take any kind of enhancement drugs. I take vitamins, I eat right, I take care of myself. And um, you know, there are people like Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe has no problem admitting that he's on growth hormones. He doesn't see that as a problem because he's over 50 and testosterone, you lose it over the years. I'm not against it, but I'm against liars. I like people that are being honest. And this guy has made like a hundred million dollar empire off of lying. It's not cool. It's all about the outward man building up that outward man. And he had a lot of people that followed him and everything else. It's not an easy road. Nothing good comes easy. You know, I was overweight for a long part of my life. Um, here's a picture. I've suffered with Crohn's disease a majority of my life, severe Crohn's disease. And then when I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, which is incredibly painful, I had started to put on quite a bit of weight because of the pain that I was in. But instead of crawling up into a ball and thinking that was the end of it, I did research. I changed my diet. I cut out dairy. I cut out a lot of things and I exercised more. I didn't look for a quick fix. I didn't listen to all of the gurus that said, if you buy this supplement or you buy that one, that you'll be able to put on muscle mass, as the Liver King did, promising the world to people if they just did what he said. And yet the whole time, he was lying. Performance enhancing steroids. Many thousands of dollars worth were going into this man 
and he sold it as you just eat what I tell you, you do what I say, and that's the end of it. But that's not the way life works. And it's sad to see so many people still promoting this man and putting this man on their platform, trying to redeem his character. And now the idea is that he's going to quit steroids. And sadly, the world wants to be lied to. But the truth is, hard work, determination, and faith is the only way you get ahead. And you can do it. But people like him, well, they make things a lot harder for us all. To make excuses. He said that he was doing it because uh, people are suffering today. So, you know, that's why he lied. He didn't even think it was a big deal to lie and tell everybody that they could get to be that size if they ate testicles. Yeah, isn't that the case today? I'm over 50, I'm 51, and uh, things hurt. You know, I deal with this chronic pain all the time. But moving my body really has made such a difference. Working out has been really such a, uh, such a lifeline for me. And sadly, not enough people put the effort forward. And if you did, you'd find that there were things that you always thought you couldn't do, but you can do no problem now. Like, no problem at all. The problem is you have so many people that are lying, so many people that are deceiving, so many people that just want to convince you that there's a quick fix and a quick answer as opposed to putting in the work and falling now and then. And that's the reason why the world is in a state that it's in, spiritually speaking. So the liver king, he's still bragging. He hasn't taken responsibility. The liver king's a fraud. Hence, the system is fraudulent. The very thing that's supposed to purify is puffed up with pride and vanity. So, we can take a message from this, and I hope that you enjoyed coming to the gym and working out with me a little bit. Because, because this is where I get all of the work done. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button. September 10th, Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the East to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by his peers and abused, Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, and this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling.